so let us start our new session on coulomb's law in vector form so the name of the topic for today's lesson is coulomb's law in vector form and the superposition principle first let us try to remind coulomb's law coulomb's law class according to this Coulomb's law what it said when you have two charges point charges q1 and q2 separated by a distance r between them the force between the two charges is equal to Coulomb's constant k q1 q2 divided by r square this is what you have learned now let us convert this coulomb's law into vector form vector form let us say coulomb's law in vector form vector form see when you were in class 11, the unit vector, this is equal to A vector divided by magnitude of A. This is what you have learned. So when you try to find this A vector, it should be a multiple of A, let us cross multiply this one, and the unit vector what I want you to know is when you multiply this scalar a with a unit vector it becomes a vector quantity this is what you have learned in class 11 vector vectors similarly this this quantity is a scalar quantity k is scalar q1 q2 scalar this change of the scalar so r square will be obviously scalar so that when you want to convert this scalar into vector like what you have done here you should multiply it by a unit vector let us see how how we convert this quantity on the right side of the equation in coulomb's law in vector form so my convert okay so let us say Q1 is at A, Q2 is at B, right? Then this Q1 will be exerting a force towards Q2. That force will be directed in this direction. And in order to name force, this will be named as F21 vector. F21 vector is nothing but force exerted on Q2 by whom? Q1. Okay. So, Q2, F21 say, that you know, have a panda. Q2 the exert over force to neighbor. Kanana, Q1. Q1, Q2, the illocal thing. Put it right side to the mindset of the drum. Force and similar like that. And the game, Q2 no so, Q1, the illocal thing. Put it on the smile like that. Then, this particular force will be named as F12 vector. F12 vector. As you know from high high and high bandha, you will say it as force exerted on Q1 by whom? Q2. Then, let us try to represent this uh, Coulomb's law in the vector form. Before doing that, see, if I represent F r12 vector r12 vector to be equal to a b vector a b vector will be directed in which direction from a to b that means r12 vector will be directed from left to right okay this will be directed from 1 to 2 then if we represent this r to one vector to be equal to b a vector b 
elector adoi ta ga di si ki kanu se kadom da le ni r21 se adoi di minor le ni ka ba vector hai bani this will be in this direction si ani ke ni se ye mo ni figure si ga cha le ka then si ki let us try to represent this f12 vector se represent tong do honer se f12 vector then what is karam ba direction da f12 si ka si ani sim ra ta karam ba direction mane yo karam ba mane re b a vector si ka mane b a vector hai re ka yo ani r21 ve aduna r21 vector si ki ma gi unit vector na mane represent ho ani then any size so high kre a vec a cap a unit vector hai se a divided by a ne aduna ekoi na sida sida ni ko no yo mun ni english e de english e ani ta ga di aina f12 vector se represent ho ge hai ta ga di if you want to represent it will be q1 q2 by r rc aina sida sida r21 hap se lani mai gi si asang ji sama na ni r21 oi gera 12 oi gera makai si di as it remains the same then then let me remove this one since by definition of unit vector this r21 cap will be equal to r21 vector divided by r21 then let us represent this r21 cap by this quantity then this power uh, obviously it was square this will become q is it not so r21 q then this will be r21 vector so you represent the first force in the vector form now understood then if you want to represent this f to 1 then obviously we will just change the numbering here numbering as i 2 1 1 2 2 1 1 this will be 1 2 1 2 this will be 2 1 this will be 1 2 and this one will be 1 2 so both the two forces that means force acting on q2 by q1 force exerted on q1 by q2 both are represented in the vector form now okay see uh, in the previous class also i have given you some assignment in that uh, you might have come across these two forces will obey newton's third law of motion it, 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 you can readily observe from here let us forget about all these representations what you see representation in here like how force and do that just observe here this f21 is directed towards the right side and this f12 is directed towards the left side that means they are oppositely directed so this will be represented by such an equation then when you have such an equation you can say this is uh, this is the uh, third law of motion action and reactions are equal but opposite why is it equal because the magnitude of charge will remain the same for f21 also f12 also the magnitude of charge remains the same as well as, as well as the distance of separation also remains the same that's why these two forces are equal and opposite and it obeys obeys what newton's newton's which law third law of motion third law of motion this is how we can prove by referring uh, by representing the uh, both f12 vector and f21 vector you can uh, you can prove that this particular uh, third law motion is satisfied by this Coulomb's law. I hope you could understand.
then let us go to the next very important topic uh, which is known as the superposition principle of electric charges superposition principle so now let us come to the superposition principle superposition principle superposition principle electric charges suppose you have a system three dimensional system system of the x y z z array then you have a number of charges n number of charges like in the q1 q2 dot 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 up to qn and apart from this n number of charges let there be another charge q0 then several forces will be acting upon this q0 several forces one of those forces will be force exerted on q0 by kanana q1 am i represent only f01 like that then q2 should sub man and among the force exerted over it this will be represented by m0 q like that then qn will exert a force obviously qn will also exert a force on q0 this will be represented by q0 f f0n dash then according to this superposition principle what it says is that total charge to be experienced by this uh, q0 f total this is equal to total force to be experienced by whom by this q0 that is represented by this f total f total is nothing but the total force exerted on this q0 this should be equal to the sum of all these forces and how will you state the uh, superposition principle is that kamai hai ni hai the total force to be experienced by this q0 this q0 will be equal to the vector sum the vector sum of all the forces all the forces exerted on on this particular charge q0 by the remaining charges in the system kang ko ana q0 china experience over the upon the force to kali ga manani ha ba q1 exert over force q2 exert over force q3 exert over force Q and N get of force my am dog. I do this some little man at any height. I do it out of me. As I get Ulam slow in a vector form to be concept is in a say. Let us see my enemy K Q0 Q0 Q1 R as I want to level to one like him now. Zero one like and the one zero like any square R10 cap like any. Similarly, second one they represent the other one is K, Q0, Q2, R20, square, R20, cap. Similarly, and it terms the command here is K, Q0, UN, divided by RNO, square, RNO, cap. Oh, we are just using the Coulomb's, Coulomb's law in vector form. Then let us write it in the summation, in form of summation. Then this will be K summation Q0 Ui Ri0 square Ri0 k. I is equal to I over I way. 1, 2, 3 up to N. Then I goes from 1 to and therefore this total force exerted on this q0 will be equal to this quantity on the right side so this is the mathematical representation of the uh, superposition principle i hope you could understand the statement and the mathematical background superposition principle of electric charges